Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be going over May's Yard and Bingo. So I did actually keep track of my projects and fill in my box for April, but I didn't get a single bingo. This month I only got one. But I have some other things I want to discuss in conjunction with this. So, first off, as always, we're going to go just straight across each row. <clears throat> first one I did was finish a whip. Next one was work on a blanket project. I actually discussed this in Show and Tell 67, I think. My, my granny blanket project. Oh, that needs to go upstairs with me when, I, when I'm done. Finish a whip. Blue Crayola hat. That was part of my uh, Lion Brand Crayola yarn reviews. Finish something for yourself. This is my KT and the Squid Squid Dance wrap. I have blocked it since y'all saw this last. Sorry about that. I have blocked this since y'all saw this last. I have not taken it up to trim the ends though. So I am still in love with this. Um, next one, create something with older yarn in your stash. And that was this just feel festive shawl. This is also my first entry in the 80s kids make along. Um, this yarn has been in my stash for a year and a half. So it was one of the few yarns that I knew had been in there a long time and knew when I had stuck it in there. Well, I just messed up folding that. So yeah, year and a half on that one. Next one was free space. Then finish a whip. Next dishcloth. Tidy up your stash. I did a whole video where I showed where I had been reorganizing and moving things around. I had a hole here last week and I, I went through my closet and pulled out those puff pastries I said I was going to stick in there. Um, finish a whip. This is my Ross hat in sepia brown, which is also part of the Crayola Yarn Review projects. Create a wearable. Now, I could not bring this down, but I have worked a little bit on my sweater, and I've shared that in a number of videos now. Um, the last time you guys saw it, it was the entire body was finished, but I still needed to do the two sleeves and the collar line. I've been working on mathing out the sleeves. I did get the stitches picked up for both sleeves. So progress has been made. It's just very, very slow. Create something in your favorite colors. Pink, purple, blue. Pink, purple, aqua. Um, like I keep saying, carry in a colorway. So this is another Just Feel Festive shawl. Um, this has also now been blocked. I, I wet blocked this one uh, because of the cotton content. I figured that was really all it needed just to straighten out the edges. And the last one on here is finish a whip. And that's the <laughs> third dishcloth that I made. So, yeah, I mean, I really didn't get a whole lot on this one. Um, there were some really cool things, but I have been really into weird stuff recently. And... A lot of the stuff I've worked on really didn't fall into any of these categories. Um, <clears throat> I mean, like, Creed a Cactus is really cool. And I have a pattern for a cactus hat. And that's what I was thinking about doing. But I just, I got absorbed in other projects. And I forgot to come back. Like, there's one, tell us about the creator. This one down here, tell us about yourself. Could have easily filled that one in. And it would have taken two seconds to make a keychain because I really like those little um, on-point granny squares. And uh, if you run some wire 
through that last row of stitches and stitch or crochet around it, it actually makes a nice keychain. Literally would have taken me 15 seconds and I could have had another bingo right there. <clears throat> Didn't do it. Just, it, I, like I said, I don't make my projects based off the bingo square. I make what I make and see how they fit in. So, but one of the things I did want to start adding into these videos when I put them up is how much yarn did I use during the course of the month in my finished projects. So I did not count my finished project total, but it really wasn't that many total. But I used 4,877.44 yards of yarn, which is 2.77 miles. And my weight for this month, or this past month, was 2,137 grams, which is 471 pounds. So that's actually kind of impressive for not filling in that much of the bingo card this month. Um, let me take this up with me because it goes back in my, back in my journal thing. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of things like, you know, this was almost a thousand grams. I mean, that, that takes a lot of weight. Um, this one, while it didn't weigh nearly as much, it had a lot of yardage in it. <clears throat> and, you know, that's all fingering weight yarn. That's most of three hanks of fingering weight yarn. So that's 1,200 yards minus some. So yeah, like it, it, the finished object side of it really wasn't, um, it seems like a lot on paper, but when you realize what I actually worked on and what I actually finished, like it's not as much as it seems like. But I'm rather happy with how it went this month. <laughs> Um, I have not yet seen whether or not Llama Mama Kayla is going to be doing another card this month or not for June. Um, but if not, I think some of the other ladies in the group will be picking up doing the cards for June, doing a card for June. Um, so yeah, uh, you have to be a member of the Facebook group if you want to get the card and Kayla isn't the one making it because it's the Facebook group that publishes that. It's members in that group that will get together and publish that. Um, so I do recommend going ahead and joining the Facebook group. Um, Kayla's had a lot going on, so I know she really hasn't had time to really think that much about Yarn Bingo so far this month. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I said everything I came in here to say. Um, yeah, so it's like Saturday. <clears throat> this will be my first video going up today, but I am filming three. One is a just in case. One needs to go up this weekend as well. So we'll kind of see how this plays out. But this will hopefully go up tonight. Crossing fingers. There are no issues getting this out. Um... I did not film on Thursday like normal, so I didn't get a show and tell up. And by the time my show and tell does go up, um, it will be time to film the next one. So I might save those projects and just refilm talking about those. But I do have one film just in case I'm going to be running late next week too. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm trying to not put stress and pressure on myself to do the things I feel like I have to do and really take it easy. Be, be kind to myself and enjoy what I'm doing. So we'll see what happens. We're going to play it by ear and see what happens. <laughs> I am such a scheduler. Like this is just weird for me, but I'm trying it. All right, you guys. Take care. I love you and I will see you guys real soon.